Hello everyone. So I made a video about my ceramic palettes and water cups and I got a lot of good feedback on that video. So I wanted to make another one of the pros and cons of ceramic palettes. So first I want to go over the ones that I have or the ones, the makers that I love. So Sylvan Clay Works is one of them, BNCA Pottery, Sarah B Pottery, Southern Grit Studio, Ceramics by Priscilla Lee. Those are just a few of the ones that I personally love. If you have some that you love, name them down below so I can go check them out. So first off, each maker is super unique and they each have their own style and design. So like Sylvan Clayworks, Sarah from Sylvan Clayworks, she does this little edge here, which is like her signature thing, which I absolutely love. Southern Grit Studio, she has like this vintagey look with the gold edges. I love that too. Um, Sarah B. Pottery. She has a lot of smooth, like very clean, classy designs. So those are just a few to name, but each one kind of has like their very own style. And I just love each of the different unique characteristics about those. So first let's go over the pro pros of ceramic palettes. So first off, they're easy to clean. So this has been on here, this paint's been on here for a little while now. And as you can see, if I just, you see how I just wipe that off right there? Super clean, super easy to clean. If you were to run some water over this, it would wash. Well, obviously it's different with the paint there, but it would clean very easily. So it's also easy to wet. So you can wet the watercolors and then there's no beading. It makes it very difficult when the watercolors bead like on a plastic palette because it makes it difficult to mix. It makes it difficult to see what color you have that you're going to be putting on your paper. So another pro is that, like I said, it's easy to blend the colors. I can easily blend all of these colors without any issues with the bleeding or the paints coming up, they stick on pretty well onto the ceramic surface. And so the ones that have wells are super easy to keep the colors contained if you don't like mixing. Um, they are heavier too, so they don't really, when you're painting, they don't really slide around. I mean, unless you're going crazy painting, but they stay, firm on the surface. So let's t now talk about the cons. So they are easily breakable. So if you uh, have kids or if you are clumsy, just make sure to be very careful. Sometimes it makes me not want to bring it from one area to another because I'm so scared that I'm going to drop it. Even when I have like a water cup, I'm very hesitant and nervous sometimes because if I so much as just hit it on something, I do not want to break it, which I have heard stories of my friends who have cracked their ceramic cups. So just be careful. That's for sure a con because they're pricey and you don't want to damage them. Another thing too is that they are heavy. So this is a pro as well so that they don't slip and slide all around. But for someone, if you don't have as much strength, maybe wrist or hand strength to pick them up, they are a little bit heavier. So um, it's something that you don't wanna travel with because of its heavy size. And that brings me to another point that they are not easy to travel with. So I don't think many people would want to travel with these um, because you don't want to break it and because of it, the weight of it. But for the most part, those are just some very brief cons that 
I think anyone can look past. I for sure look past all those cons because I think all the pros are worth it for these. Oh, another con is that they can be pricey and I completely understand it's a handmade product. So I think that they're priced where they should be. But for some people who don't wanna spend that amount of money, I think that it can be a con for them. So for people who don't want to spend a lot of money on ceramic palettes, there are cheaper alternatives. You can always use like a dinner plate, um, white preferably, so you can see the colors when you're mixing them. But that's always a cheaper option. Now, do you have to use a ceramic palette for painting? And the answer is no, absolutely not. There are so many different options out there. You can use cheap plastic palettes. Um, the one thing about the plastic palettes is making sure you scrub them with a sponge or something abrasive to break off. There's like a film over it first. So I was talking about the beading. The beading happens on the plastic palettes. And if you don't scrub them, then it will, the beading will happen. And I don't actually even have any plastic palettes anymore because I've given up on those and I love my ceramic palettes. So that's pretty much all that I use. So another thing too is that what I love, I use liquid watercolors with these sometimes and I love that they have these wells because you can just drop a few um, drops of watercolor in there and it stays perfectly contained. So that's one thing that I love about these as well. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the ceramic palettes or if you want me to do any other videos about ceramic palettes, I'm happy to do that for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.